was having a lot of fun catching this. This is awesome. 42 pound fish. It's not that big, just right. Look how beautiful it is. This is what it's all about, catching a big fish like that. So much action. Just think about it. This fish was about 350 feet down and we had to pull all the way up. Of course, I was using electric reel, but still a lot of fun. So now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to start filleting it. There is a line here that goes parallel the uh, carcass. That's where we're going to make a cut from here in the center. But first, we're going to make a cut on the tail right here. Then, And I'm gonna outline it. Just like that. I'm gonna turn the fish around. Turn the fish around. And I'm gonna start. All right, so this is one strip. And we're gonna turn the fish around again this way. I gonna, I'm looking for the belly cavity right here, and I'm gonna cut it right there. There's one more piece right there. And this is the piece that some people throw away, but there is a lot of meat. I'm going to try to save this. This is still really good size of a piece of meat. Place it right there. And this is the liver. Look at this big liver. Huge liver. And I, I like, I usually save the liver. It's really good stuff. When you deep fry it. Oh. Right there, I'm gonna keep this liver. Okay, I'm gonna get this guts out. Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna flip it on the other side. When I start filleting the fish, I start seeing a lot of blood. I thought we drained the blood. What I did, I slushed the gills to drain the blood. I guess uh, it, the cut wasn't big enough. Next time, I gonna need to make a bigger cut to drain all of the blood. So when you're filleting, you don't have any blood. Thank God for his creation. He made it easy for us. He created the line on the fish where you have to follow to fillet. This is what's left. And it came out like a sock. at this beautiful meat there's about 30 pounds of fillet here we are gonna prepare a really nice meal I'm gonna fillet a Pacific link cut we got 12 of them uh, we got six link cuts and uh, let's go let's get started what am I gonna do I'm gonna make a cut from the fin down to the belly then from fin up to the top of the head it's not easy to fillet Pacific cut because softness of the meat but we're gonna do the best we can so make a little cut right here, all the way to the belly, and from here, all the way to top of the head. I'm gonna make a cut alongside of the dorsal fin, all the way to match the other cut. And I'm gonna flip my knife and cut it along the side of the fin, all the, all the way to the tail. Mm. 
applied your knife alongside of the rib cage, cut through the first set of pin bones, curl, curl your feet, lay up a little bit, and just glide your knife gently. This is one of the fillets. We're gonna flip it around and do exactly the same thing on the other side. Yeah, look at these two beautiful fillets. We're still gonna trim them up a little bit. And this is the carcass, barely any meat left. We're gonna use the head for a soup stock. Now we're gonna trim up our fillets. There is a still fin there. And uh, the reason that's left right there because I wanna save as much meat on my fillet as I can. So I decided to cut around the, the uh, fins there. But they're easy to remove, just angle your knife and remove the fins like that and little fin right here same thing same thing with that on angle and you can remove that and you got a little bit of a belly here i usually trim the, trim this up nine inch the extra knife out flip our fillet on the other side gonna do exactly the same thing on this side yeah this is too, too thin of a piss we're gonna remove and make a little cut center of our fillet right there there we go this is what you get, two beautiful fillets. Here we go, this is the rockfish that we caught. Vermilion rockfish, Deacon rockfish, brown rockfish, canary rockfish, china rockfish, and vita rockfish. It's time to fillet this beautiful rockfish. Not to hurt yourself, you can use a longer fillet knife or you can use the scissors, kitchen scissors, to cut, cut off all of the spikes. Just like that. And you're not gonna get hurt badly if something happens. All right, I'm gonna start with this side, making a cut from here all the way to the belly. And from, and from here, all the way to the top of the head. Like that. Now I can outline my fish alongside of that dorsal fin. So what am I gonna do? Cut through the skin at an angle right here. And make sure it's cut. 
and flip my knife and go all the way all the way to the rear fin if I get to the rear fin push my knife over the carcass and make the cut all the way to the tail then glide my knife against the carcass Peel in the fillet. Cut through the pin bones right here. Then just follow the rib cage. Just like that. And this is a beautiful fillet. This is how, how the carcass looks. You have just a little bit of a meat right there above the uh, rib cage. You can save it, you can scrape it down and make a fish cake or something. But me, I'm just gonna use it for my uh, crab bait. And now I'm gonna remove the skin from the fillet. Just glide your knife all the way. And here you go, look at the backside. It's beautiful and you have no meat left on the skin. We're gonna remove the pin bones right here a little bit. Yep. And this is your beautiful fillet, ready to be prepare a nice meal out of it. This is what you end up with, two beautiful fillets. So see you guys at the kitchen. Now we're gonna prepare a really good meal and I wanna share it with you. Welcome to our kitchen. So we are back from deep sea fishing. We went out to Nia Bay, me, my kids, we had so much fun. We camped overnight, we fished two days and we caught a lot of different type of fish. We caught halibut, sea bass, lean cod, pacific cod, and when it comes to sea bass, it's like six different types of sea bass. So we came back, I filled out them all, and today we're gonna uh, deep fry them, we'll make fish and chips. So here's our fish, we got halibut right there, uh, lingcod and sea bass. Now I'm gonna cut them into portions, we're gonna season them up, put them into flour, and then after that I'm gonna deep fry it. Okay, that's our halibut right there, our link card. Cut in half, then. And this is our sea bass. All right guys, so I just finished cutting up all of the fish into portions. Now I'm gonna spice them up, dunk them in the flour and go ahead and deep fry. I'm gonna start seasoning our fish. I'm gonna start with uh, Everglades fish and chicken. We're not gonna go very heavy. It's gonna give us a really beautiful color. Garlic and salt. about that much. We're gonna flip them on the other side and do the same thing. All right, now I'm gonna mix them up a little bit. Look at that. This is halibut right there and this is lingcod. 
lame card right there. And this is Holly, but I'm not talking about Holly, but oh man. All right. Okay, we're gonna start with the link card. We're just gonna dunk them in a flower and just, yeah, this is plenty of flower on them. Guys, so I'm outside here. I'll be using outdoor deep fryer. It's Bayou Classic deep fryer, two and a half gallons of oil. And I've been using this fryer for like five years now, and it's really, really good deep fryer. We're gonna start with Link Cod. All right, here we go. And on this side, we're gonna put some holly right there. And yeah, that's really good. Right there. So it's all ready, it's all deep fried and ready to be consumed. This fish, not very long ago, it was on the bottom of the ocean. All of us went out, me, my kids, we cut this fish, we cleaned it, and we deep fried it. And now we're gonna say a prayer. Dear Lord, I wanna thank you for this day, for your protection, for our safety, on the water, everywhere we've been to. Please bless my family bless this country bless this food and help us nourish to our bodies amen. Amen. amen amen all right it's time to serve let's see nobody knows what we have on the plate and i'm gonna ask them what kind of a fish they like the most and a couple of uh, potato edges Right there, beautiful wife. I'll take lane cut number one, halibut number two, rockfish number three. And potato veg is number four.
Hey guys, this is this is awesome. Very beautiful dinner. Me and my family. This fish is so tasty and good. Juicy, flaky. This fish never been frozen. We spent so much good time over there catching it with the fam family. It's a memory for a lifetime. And came home, prepared this nice meal. We ate it together. Cannot get any better than this. We want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel, Hooked for Nice Meal. Please, thumbs up, subscribe, and leave the comments below. See you guys next time.